Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel of 333. Today I'm going to do a reading for Aries. This is going to be January 19th through the 26th. Please remember this is a general reading and the timing is flexible. But if you're watching this reading, then the messages are meant for you. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Feel free to check out my other um, videos for your other signs as well. There may be messages there for you. And there's a playlist link in my description box um, where you can find my weekly readings, my monthly readings, and timeless readings. Okay. And the last item I have for you is... Um, I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month, and I have two bracelets. I have an amethyst bracelet um, with an angel wing, and I have a howlite bracelet with an angel wing. And um, I can also put Reiki healing energy on here, or I can do energy for manifestation if you'd like to manifest, um, you know, love or abundance or any other type of situation. And um, I will contact the winners the first week of uh, February. And then um, if you'd like to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you just have to like and comment. Um, just want to say I got a lot of nice comments last week. Love reading your, guys, your comments. And um, just know it takes me a bit of time because there's a lot of them. But I do read them, so just know that. And um, what else do I have here? I think that might be it. Uh, there also, uh, there's a link in my um, description box for uh, my website too. The bracelets are on there if you want to take a closer look or if you'd like to buy one for a friend or, you know, feel free to look at them. So let's get a couple cards for Aries. This is um, Notes from the Universe. Let's see what messages we have for Aries, and let's get one card. I love these cards because they're so colorful, um, and they're different, um, you know, from the regular cards that we have. They're kind of a fun message, and they've been actually going with the readings, okay, relating to um, the tarot readings, okay? So let's see what you got here. So... The first card says, create space for new love, okay? And that says, when a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. When it hurts your heart, just, I'm sorry, stop justifying it. I love you so much, the universe. Wow, okay. So that's a message for those of you who are keeping someone in your life, maybe, that um, is not treating you well. Excuse me, I'm going to take a quick sip of coffee. All right, the second message is convince yourself, not others, okay? The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need, because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Hi-ho, the universe. So yeah, so don't feel like you always have to um, justify yourself to people, okay? Sometimes we feel like we have to do that, and we really don't, because we're our own person we make our own decisions and you know if someone doesn't like that you say no or whatever the case may be then that's that's not your problem that's their problem right okay so i'm um, going to start the tarot portion this deck is the um, arcanum tarot deck let's get one more shuffle in here and then we'll cut the cards. You can hear a piano. It's my son playing in the background. <clears throat> it travels all the way back to this room. All right, let's get two more cards, or one more card for this row. 
Let's get three more cards, please, for Aries. What's going on for Aries? There we go. Wow, we got a lot of air energy in this reading. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Have you been thinking a lot, Aries, or has somebody else been thinking a lot about you? Okay. So the first card that we have is we have the High Priestess. Okay, so this can be about an, um, intuition. This can be about the unknown. Um, someone around you can be mysterious. Um, this could also be, I always see this card as cancer energy as well, because cancers are highly intuitive. So there may be somebody in your life who's very spiritual. This may be you as well, okay? But I feel here there may be somebody um, coming in with some communication here with the Knight of Swords, okay? Coming in pretty quickly. Um, I feel like there may be something that they want to come in and clarify. I feel here that this clarity could have to do with some type of hurtful situation, okay? Remember, um, this reading can also, can be in all areas of your life, does not have to be just about love or love interest. It can be someone you're emotionally attached to, it can be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, etc. Take it how it resonates, okay? But not, um, a lot of you, it is going to be about love because I read the comments and a lot of you are you know, in or out of relationships um, with people. And um, so take it, you know, how you feel it. So I feel here there is a situation here where somebody was hurt, okay? I'm feeling like this was you, Aries. Um, you know, energies can always be reversed, but I read it from Aries' perspective. So I feel here you were hurt in this situation. I feel like um, this person may be coming in with an apology, okay? I see here that since this time that you've been hurt, and I feel like you're working through the healing, maybe being honing in on your intuition here, but I feel like you have taken this Queen of Swords energy, okay? You're protecting your heart now. You're not dealing with any BS. You're only going to, you know, accept people who have clear intentions, who are truthful, um, you know, who, who don't take advantage of you or your time, and value you, okay? I feel like you're really in this very discerned energy right now, okay? Because in some way, shape, or form, this person hurt you, okay? And you're ready, you're ready to use that sword. I mean, look at this lady here, okay? And it's not about male or female, it's about the energy, um, but she's ready, <laughs> she's ready to, you know, strike her sword, okay? You say the wrong thing, and you know there you go so the next card that came out is the king of cups okay so this could be a water energy in your life a cancer scorpio pisces um, like i said i feel water energy in this reading i feel air energy in this reading but i feel like this person um, is coming in to give you an apology if it's not an apology they may be um, coming to to express how they feel okay so i feel Spirit is showing me with this card. If you can see this man's face, he looks a little worried, okay? So I feel like he's a little worried um, with the Queen of Swords here, okay? They're not looking at each other at the moment. So I feel like he's a little worried about it, um, but I feel like somebody here is coming in with an apology, um, and, you know, here's the communication. you got two kings here. That they're about taking action. And this king is coming in with truth, with clarity. I feel this person wants to clear things up with you, okay? Or give you some type of clarity. For some of you, this might be about closure as well, okay? And this message is sticking out to me. Convince yourself, not others. So I feel in this situation, you're really not going to have to say too much, okay? I feel this person is going to be doing all the talking. And then we had here, create space for new love, okay? So I feel by you um, being in this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like it's really made this person think that, hey, they better step up to the plate 
or you're they're not going to be in your life that's how i'm feeling the energy of this reading and then we have here we have here the strength card okay so this could be a leo in your life um but um i definitely feel here you you're kind of taming this person okay you're controlling your emotions you're not um you're not making or displaying emotions directly from your heart right now you're using your head you're thinking um, like i said you're in the the, the um, queen of swords energy and i feel like you're being very very strong you're not letting this person see any emotions from you at this time okay i feel they're the emotional one right now okay they're trying to get it together okay so the next card that we have is the hierophant okay so this could be a, a taurus in your life okay um this could also signify this could be somebody that um, you're in a commitment with or somebody you want a commitment with okay or this could be a father figure okay or the situation can involve um, some type of tradition or belief okay um, but whatever it is here with the nine of swords i feel here that um, i feel you or this person is definitely feeling you know caught up in their head about it okay they have a, they're having a lot of thought hi aries sorry about that i'm back i'm having some storage problems and i just fixed them hopefully i will have no more problems so as i was saying i feel here somebody has really been thinking about this situation i feel like it's the other person because like i said this person to me looks like they're worried okay and they're having a hard time um, you know coming forward because it does look like they hurt you in some way that was very painful to you so I feel like they're really um, you know in a place where they're trying to get the courage to talk to you okay um, the next card that came out is the king of wands okay so they're definitely wanting to take some action here this is your energy aries but it could be an air another aries leo or sagittarius so i definitely feel like they're wanting to take some action in the situation and then we have here the eight of pentacles so i see here with the eight of pentacles they're wanting to work on things with you okay but i do see here with the six of swords the, they want to try to avoid any conflict okay and I think that's why they're worried. Um, they want things to be calm and peaceful. And then here we have the three of pentacles. Okay. So they really want to try and work on things with you. And um, I feel here, I feel here that um, either it may be a surprise for you um, or it may happen when you're not expecting it here because we have the tower. Um, you know, this could be too where things don't go over well um, because we also have here the two of swords, okay? So I feel here with the two of four, uh, swords, um, you know, this person may show up or contact you unexpectedly and I feel like this might confuse you, okay? So I feel like you may, it might confuse you, you may have some fears about it because you're not sure if you want to let this person back in, okay? Um, so I feel like you're really going to be thinking about this situation, okay? So we're going to stop there with the tarot. I'm going to pull now some, I just noticed the, the bottom of the deck of the, uh, you know, Romance Angels is Reconciliation. So I feel here some of you are going to reconcile, um, but I feel some of you here are going to be confused about it okay have some fears about reconciling with this person okay so we're going to pick three cards from the romance angels there's one let's get two more two more please oh there's two and let's get one more oh there we go you guys can probably hear the piano really loud now 
Wow, okay, this was meant to be. Look what came out. <laughs> first, first card to reconciliation, okay. I feel for some of you there, there is going to be reconciliation. You know, ultimately it's your choice and your free will. The angels can't um, intercede with your free will. But I feel like a lot of you are thinking about reconciliation. And then the next card that came out, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one, okay? So this potentially could be your long-term partner here if the two of you can work things out. And then the third card that came out, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, passion. And so I definitely see here, there's a lot of passion between you and this person. Um, you know, if this does not a love interest, then this may be something else you're passionate about. And I had stopped on the tarot, but um, since the cards just came out, the card that's up is Page of Wands. So this is somebody who's, who's very passionate. They're very excited um, about starting something new. So I, like I said, I feel for a lot of you, this could definitely be a reconciliation that's on the way, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pull um, a couple Let's see, Oracle cards. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to pull um, a few Angel Answer cards. Let's get three cards for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? I think this one wanted to come out. And let's get two. Whoa, two more. Okay. So the first card that came out is get more information, okay? This fell on reconciliation, so I feel here this is really an indication that you're going to have to get more information about the situation or the person or get the clarity that you need before you make any decision on reconciliation, okay? Because some of you may not reconcile with this person. I just see here this is an opportunity for reconciliation. Some of you may do that, some of you may not, okay? Now, the next card that came out is the no card, okay? There's two no's in this deck. So this, this one's just a standard no. So what I'm feeling here, this is an indication. Some of you may not feel like this person is the one for you. And those are going to be the people that I said, um, you know, are not going, are going to decide probably not to reconcile, okay? So I feel like there are going to be some people here that aren't. Um, and then the next card that came out is the situation will improve, okay? So I feel here you're going to get the clarity that you need here. You can see this angel can see the light, okay? So, you know, you may have felt like you were in darkness or in not a good place. And I feel here your angel is saying things are going to get better. Things are going to improve. You're seeing the light now whether this is you're going to get closure on this situation or whether you're going to reconcile with the, this person. But your angels are telling you that the situation is definitely going to improve, okay? Let's pull two um, oracle cards. There's one. What messages do we have for Aries? Let's get one more card, please. Okay, so we have two. Okay, so the first card that came out, be aware, or I'm sorry, beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And the second message you have is called balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. And now we're going to close out the reading with one message from the Fairy Blessing cards. If you watched my reading last weekend, this is a new deck. And I got a lot of nice comments. Um, about this deck so I'm going to use it again so I'm going to pick one card and this is a blessing to you from the fairies so let's get one card for Aries one card for Aries please one card for Aries okay 
All right. All right, this is a new one. I have not read this one. Really love the picture on here. I'll show it to you in a moment. Let me just get to the page. So this card is called A Blessing of the Grouping Fae. And if you don't know, Fae is short, if I'm right, is short for fairy. I'm still learning this duck. So it's, uh, let's see here, we got page 95. There we go. So here's the message for you. It's a beautiful card here. All right. The fairy gift of finding your purpose and walking your path. There are fairies who dwell in one place all their long lives, caring and protecting, the guardians and the watchers. And there are fairies that move on the old paths along the ley lines, dragon lines, energy paths of the planet. These fairies walk these lines, each solar return, clearing and cleansing energy, knowing where they must go and what they must do. With this card, they offer you their gift that of knowing which path you need to walk and what you must do and where you must go. May there be no more confusion about your purpose. May each step this day feel filled with an inner calling and mission. May you feel the energy rising up from below the earth to meet you and support you. And may you know that every footstep is a ritual, an act of offering to the planet. Let there be simple, deep knowing that everything you do this day has purpose and meaning, and let fulfillment come to you in places where you have felt empty and unsure. Let this blessing of the wanderers, the troping fairies, who keep the ways of energy alive in the world, come to you this day and give you a true sense of your life and your every footstep being valuable. Your very breath is a gift to the trees. I'll turn the page here. We're almost done. Knowing that your life, just as it is, is enough, is purposeful, is what you are meant to be doing come to you. And if things are meant to change, then the trooping fairy, the trooping fae, will come to you and offer you their gifts, so you know just which path you need to take. Fairy blessings of true path and deep purpose to you, bright soul. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So I feel here the message, you know, if you have been thinking about your life purpose, I feel here this is a message to you that you're going to be guided, um, you know, on your path of your life purpose. Okay, so beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. Again, if you'd like to be entered for the bracelets, uh, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and week, and I'm sending you angel love.